Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video we're going to be starting off a solo redid campaign through the Return to Dunwich Legacy. I've chosen to include all the new Return to cards when setting up each scenario, and I'm going to be starting off with extracurricular activity. I am playing Rita after all. I'll be playing through this campaign with three separate ultimatums. The first of which being the Ultimatum of Dread, meaning I won't be skipping the first Mythos phase of the game. The second of these ultimatums is the Ultimatum of Induction, meaning I won't be earning any experience through the course of this campaign either. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. The last ultimatum I'm going with is the Ultimatum of Finality, which means if I'm ever defeated in a scenario, I'm killed or driven insane. With all the scenario setup stuff out of the way, this is the deck I put together. Most of the cards are your typical affair of good survivor cards, but one noteworthy exclusion is Fire Axe. While it does combo nicely with what Dark Horse wants to do, Rita struggles to gather clues effectively, which is why I ended up going with the Gravedigger Shovel. Alright, so now you know the deck list, let's go ahead and dive right into the game itself. Alrighty, so jumping right into the game here, um, our opening hand is a Rabbit's Foot, uh, I'm out of here, Gravedigger Shovel, Rise to the Occasion, and Lucky. So thinking about this model again for a second here, I go ahead and choose the I'm out of here, uh, Rise to the Occasion, Yeah, go ahead and pitch the rise to the occasion here. And then I'm also, I also kind of debate a minute here um, between pitching the rabbit's foot or the lucky, both of which are pretty good options, but I feel like I probably want to establish my board more than I want to have lucky. So I end up pitching lucky in favor of rabbit's foot. And then I draw another gravedigger shovel and two copies of Peter. Ugh. Not exactly ideal, but having Peter in your opening hand is pretty good, so really can't complain here. So I go ahead and shuffle up, and for future reference, I'm going to be kind of speeding up these setting up sequences, so, so hopefully you enjoy that. If you don't, uh, let me know in the comments. So thinking about what we want to do here, um, go ahead and enter our first Mythos phase. And we draw a copy of Resurgent Evils. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and place another Doom on the agenda here. And then we'll move into Investigation Phase. And our first action here is going to be to, um, I believe, play Peter. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and play Peter, paying three resources. Peter is a pretty obvious choice in Rita. You both want more agility and a means to soak up horror, so kind of an obvious choice there. And then second action, we're going to play the shovel. And then our third action, we're going to go ahead and move to the student union. So I set that up, my battery dies, and I... I forget to put the dormitories into play, and this will not be the first time that I forget to do this, so... Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter to the game to the game state, so I just kind of let it be. Um, so, upkeep, we draw winging it, and gain a resource, and then go into the second mythos phase here, uh, three doom, and our encounter card for the turn is a second copy of Resurgent Evils. Ugh, so end up adding a fourth doom to the agenda here. And three more to go. Move into the investigation phase here of our second turn. I kind of think about it here for a minute. I have one resource, so I kind of debate on whether or not I want to play winging it. But I end up playing rabbit's foot here, using my last resource, um, and then I investigate here one. Uh, yeah, one versus two. And I draw a zero, so that's nice. Um, get a clue. And then with my third action, I'm going to go ahead and investigate again one versus two. Kind of press my luck here. My thinking is that I can just draw a card off Rabbit's Foot. I draw a minus two. 
So there'd be a zero versus two, or a... Yeah, and I just kind of forget to draw a card, because I'm very good at this game. So, gain a resource, uh, draw a flashlight. Go up to five Doom on our next turn, and then our encounter card for the turn is Haunting Recollections. Uh, with no cards in our discard pile, we end up just discarding the top three cards of our deck. It ended up being Chronophobia, Resourceful, and a copy of Winging It. So definitely not the worst. Definitely not. Yeah, discarding a weakness is nice. Alright, so investigation phase here. We're going to investigate again, 1 versus 2. Your chaos bag says... Minus 3. And yeah, again, we're getting to trigger rabbit's foot because I'm good at this game. Yeah, and then we end up using our second action to just play winging it. So that was bad. <laughs> so I've missed two two draws already this game. Um. Yeah. And we draw a skull, so. So minus one. So really the only thing that would have made us fail is the obviously the tentacle there, so. So we get a second clue. Thinking about what we want to do with our third action, I end up just moving to the quad again. Upkeep, gain a resource, draw track shoes. So we don't have the resources to play it right now, but... Uh, six Doom now, going into turn four, and we draw a Baleful Welcome. And definitely, again, not a not a bad encounter card to draw here. So we're going to go ahead and choose Fight and Evade, for obvious reasons. And moving into Investigation Phase here, I'm going to go ahead and move to the Observatory. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Uh, kind of takes me a second to read the new location. I put the clue on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and discard the Shovel using its second action to discover the clue there. Getting the three clues I need. Uh, which triggers the forced effect on the location, causing me to discard the top three cards. Uh, two of which are not without a fight, and then the third is unexpected courage. So with the three clues we need to advance, we go ahead and advance. Yeah, so I go ahead and shuffle Jazz and the discard pile back into the encounter deck. Go ahead and set that up. And then we have one more action here. And then we gain a resource with our last action. Upkeep, we gain a resource, and draw I'm Done Running. Not the most useful card right now, but... I'm going into turn five. The agenda advances. There's only, I believe, eight cards in our discard pile at this point, so we only take one horror, which we're e easily able to just put onto Peter. And then our encounter card for the turn is a light of <laughs> uh, which we go ahead and attach on the agenda here. Alright, so going into this investigation phase, I'm going to go ahead and spend a couple resources here. To play the shovel, and I end up taking it back and playing flashlight. So go ahead and set this up and put three, three counters on it. So that was our first action. Our second action is going to be to move to the quad. And then from the quad, we're going to go ahead and move to the administration building. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm go ahead and put the faculty offices in the play. Set the clue up. And then we discard. Uh, at the end of the round, we discard. Look what I found. Which is unfortunate, because that would have been nice to have. So that kind of sucks. Um, so upkeep, we gain a resource, draw a rabbit's foot. Give a quick recap of our hand there. And 
moving into the next turn, we go ahead and put a Doom on the agenda, and we draw a Beyond the Veil. So we go ahead and put that into our threat area, do some reconfiguration here real quick, and then we surge into a Whipper Will. Just go ahead and put that on our location there, which is ugh, annoying. So that makes things more difficult. Um, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and I believe I move, yep, move to the quad here. And then we'll go ahead and move to the science building, I believe. Yep. Sorry, it takes me a second here. Yeah, so I go ahead and set this up, put the alchemy lambs into play, put the clue on the location. Finally remember to heal the horror off of Peter. And then we're going to go ahead and use flashlight here for a zero versus two. Investigate check. And Chaos Bag says, Elder Sign. Nice. All right. So we go ahead and grab that clue. And then enemy phase, the Whipper Whale is going to move to the quad. And then upkeep will gain a resource. We will draw a card. We draw Perseverance. Yep. A quick recap of our hand there. So we have a rabbit's foot, a shovel, a peter, track shoes, I'm done running, and perseverance. Put the second doom on the agenda there. And then we draw an enthralled security guard. So we'll go ahead and put that in our threat area. Engaged in. So this is definitely not the worst enemy for Rita to have to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, we're going to commit Rabbit's Foot to an evade test here for 4 versus uh, 7, I believe. Yep, 4 versus 7. And shuffle the Chaos Bag up real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Give that a good shuffle, and Chaos Bag says a skull, so that's a minus 1. So we go ahead and defeat him with a single action. And then we're going to go ahead and trigger Rita and move to the quad here. So I do do some more thinking, and then I spend my three resources and play track shoes. Now that the Whippoorwill's in play, it's going to be important to move around the map quickly. And with my last action here, I'm going to use, use, um, use the action on the act card to discard the top ten cards of the encounter deck to hopefully find Jazz. And nope, no luck there. So, yeah, so enemy phase, nothing happens. Refresh, uh, upkeep, gain a resource. Draw another copy of track shoes. And a quick recap of our hand there. So the agenda advances here. <laughs> Finally remember to put the dorms into play, after three times of looking at the set of side cards. Uh, the experiment spawns in the science building, and then my encounter card is eager for death. So I don't have any damage on me, so it's just a need of two right now. So I'm going to go ahead and commit Peter for a uh, two versus four. Uh, wait, now the Whippoorwill's at my location, so it's actually going to be, uh, I'm going to commit Perseverance for a 2 versus 4. And I draw another Elder Sign, so nice, so that's a plus 2, and then I can trigger Rita as much as I want, even though that doesn't really matter. Uh, so first action, we're going to move to the Humanities Building, put the two clues there, and then we're going to use a Charge of Flashlight. That's really kind of all we have. Don't really want to use my copies of Winging It right now. I'd rather use that for the dorms later on. So we're going to test one versus two here. Um, I think about it for a second, and I actually end up uh, committing I'm Done Running for a one versus three. So two up. Chaos Bag says uh, plus one. So yep, we grab a clue here. And then we're going to go ahead, I believe, yep, we're going to immediately spin that to try to find Jazz again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ugh. 
No luck. All right. So that's annoying. All right. So we got to find another clue. All right. So enemy phase. The whippoorwill is going to move. Gain a resource. Refresh here. Draw a card. Uh, we draw and done run. Or I'm out of here rather. So yeah, I do some thinking here. Um, put a doom on the agenda, and we draw a thrall here. And yeah, so that kind of complicates things. So now we have to kind of waste some time getting rid of this enemy. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and evade uh, two versus six. Yep, two versus six here. And Chaos Bag. Yeah, so I, I feel like I kind of didn't shuffle the bag enough. So I end up kind of just like taking a second here and just really like shuffling the bag up. And minus three. So we're still, we're still plus one. So we successfully evade. Yeah, do some more thinking here. Thinking, thinking. So I have two actions left. Um, and I end up spending those two actions to play the shovel and then discard the shovel to get the clue. I don't want to try to mess around with the whip or will there, so... So I just get the clue. And that, that'll be my turn. Uh, the Thrall will re-engage me here. I did forget to trigger Rita. It's Honestly, it's not really going to matter. I can't gain any experience, and the Thrall doesn't deal any damage, so it doesn't really change the game state. So I draw a Rise to the Occasion for my turn, showing the four cards I have in my hand. I should have, I should have six cards in my hand at this point, but yeah. So I draw Hunting Recollections, the experiment moves. So it takes me a second here to check. Um, yep, we have doubles in our hand. And yeah, we're good, so. So we discard the top three, which is a Hoods, a Cheap Shot, and a Lucky. So we've discarded both of our weaknesses off of that card. So it's nice that we chose the ultimatums that we did. So first action here, we're going to attempt to evade the Thrall again, I believe. Yep, two versus six again. And shuffle the Chaos Bag up good. And we get a Chaos Bag says... Minus two. Alright, so we evade the Thrall again. And then I believe I use... I'm going to use Rita's triggered ability here to move. And then I'm going to track shoes to move again before the experiment uh, engages with me. So, okay, uh, so we're testing uh, two versus seven here. So we're five up, so I mean, only the tentacle is going to make us fail here. Chaos bag, a nice shuffle here, and we draw a cultist, which is now a minus three at this point. So we still successfully pass. Yeah. So I kind of diddle around here, forget. Yep. And then move to the student union with drag shoes. Yeah. And then I count the actions. The second action, I spend finally finding jazz. Finally. Ugh. My goodness. Yeah. It only took me three clues and thirty cards. Yeah, and then I shuffle, do some thinking here, and then yeah, I accidentally forget that um, I just w lose an action here for some reason, and then I just move to enemy phase, and then upkeep, resource, and I draw a dark horse. I'm not sure how much this would matter, honestly, at the end of the scenario, you'll see. Um, so we draw resurging evils here, which sucks. I can't really afford to draw two encounter cards with the enemy so close, and I need to. I need Jazz, so. So we end up just kind of having to suck this up. I, I do spend a minute here thinking about it, but I do ultimately decide to put the Doom on the agenda. Um, you, I guess you could argue that I should draw the two encounter cards, but. Yeah, I don't know. So we're, we're going to spend our first action here evading the experiment. 
So we get a minus two, so we pass. So my plan, my plan was to hopefully parlay with Jazz, move to the dorms, and then use the two copies of Wing Yet to get the clues. Or use our last charge of flashlight to get the last clue. So that's my plan. So I'm gonna try and parlay here with Jazz, praying. <laughs> Praying falsely, I should, yeah. So we draw a zero, so we fail. So I finally remember to use my rabbit's foot, and we draw a cheap shot here. Yeah, so I show that to the camera. Yeah, I do a, I do a decent amount of thinking here. Yeah, so I think that's gonna ultimately be what we end up doing here. We might have to resign, but we'll give we'll give ourselves one more turn. So, so yeah, I'm kind of realizing my impending doom here. We'll spend our last action uh, parlaying again and give it a really good shuffle, praying for the plus one or the elder sign. Chaos bag says, oh, please be kind. Please, 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 please. Chaos bag says, skull, of course. So we fail. Yeah. And then we end up having to discard the top three cards of our deck. This is resourceful, lucky, and flashlight. Nice. So we have four cards left in our deck. We really can't afford to spend more than a turn. So unfortunately, just kind of my poor playing of the scenario, I end up kind of wasting some time. Wasted action here. Um, again, I'm not really sure if it would matter too much. I end up getting hit here. So I take a couple damage and a couple horror. I take two damage. I put a horror on Rita and a horror on Peter. I refresh here. Yeah, and then I, yeah, I kind of haphazardly do this, but yeah, I, I do remember to move the Whippoorwill. And then we draw an Eldritch Accord for our, our encounter card this turn. So we're testing, I believe, uh, is that, uh, seven? Yeah, seven versus three. So we have seven cards in our hand, gross. So we draw a minus three, of course. We take two horror here. So yeah, so I'm pretty much dead here. Um, we can probably still, have, even with the whippoorwill, we're probably still gonna try to evade. All right, so we're gonna go and attempt to evade two versus six here. Yeah, two versus six, and the chaos bag says. <laughs> Of course it does. All right, so obviously I'd end up putting all the damage I could onto Peter, and then I'd go up to four horror, and then yeah, so I ha I have to resign, otherwise I die. So yep, so that's it. That's the game. Not the best, but yeah, yeah. So definitely not the best game of Arkham Horror ever played, but even with missing a few triggers and not drawing a couple cards off my rabbit's foot, I feel like the scenario probably would have ended up the same way. I played through the scenario a couple times off camera, and I made some iterations to the deck based on my performance. There were times in my previous playthroughs that I would die on turn 3 because I would draw an encounter card, take a couple horror, and then advance the act, or, sorry, advance the agenda deck, and then die, pretty much, because you just don't have a Peter in your opening hand. So you're really reliant on Peter, so maybe you would play something like a Chair's Keepsake, but I don't know. There are definitely a lot of choices that you could make. Hopefully our search for Professor Morgan goes better than our search for Professor Rice did. I want to hear from you though. Were there any other mistakes I made that I didn't notice? Were there any lines of play that I missed that you would have made? Any glaring card choices that I missed when building this deck? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date when my videos go live, hit the subscribe button to become one of the many that are lost in time and space. I thank you as always for watching, and have a great day.